Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku on Tuesday, July 9th, 2024. And before I start, I'd like to say thank you all for 100 subscribers. I hope that my improvements in video technology and sound and whatnot, not to mention my own solving abilities over about the last year and a half, have really underscored my own personal growth, not to mention some of yours as far as learning beginner Sudoku puzzle variants. I wasn't even doing the hard puzzles at the start of this year, and now I'm getting them done consistently in 15 minutes or fewer. I do intend to have a special 9x9 nine nine introductory variant puzzle that I'll feature in about a week and a half. I'll make a community post about it and probably pin a comment to let you all know. And with that, let's go on to today's puzzle. This is a standard classic, as per most of them, and I can start by putting a 6 in row 3. And I think that's the only repeat digit I have in the top three rows. In the middle three rows, I'm going to get a 7 in row 4 on the top corners. Beyond that, I have one each of the digits 3, 4, 5, 2, 1, and 9. So I can't do anything there. And on the bottom, I'm going to get an 8 in the center of row 8, box 9. And it just occurred to me, I have nothing in box 9. I'm used to having nothing in a row or one column, but to have nothing in one box is a little unusual now. That means I might look to see if I have any hidden digits first. This cell in particular comes to mind. It sees all the odd digits except 5, because at 1, 3, 7, 9 are here. It also sees 4 as an even digit, and then the other 3 evens right there. So this cell can in fact only be 5. Now that gives me six digits in column eight. What I'm missing are two, six, and eight. This sees two and six, so it must be eight immediately. That's not eight. Those two are two and six, but I can't do anything with it. But immediately I have three digits in box nine. Now, I need to place a 5 in column 7, but where does that go? It can't go here by the 5 in box 9, or here by the 5 in row 5. So there's only two spaces left in those two. And also, these three form a triple. Because all four of the even digits are taken along with 1 and 7, so these three are 3, 5, and 9. That one can only be a 9. It sees 3 and 5. So those two form a 3 5 pair. Now, what that also means is 5 is in one of those two, except not there. Now, I can't go here. I can't go here by the 3 5 pair in this 5. So 5 in box 2 is actually placed. And I have essentially four digits right off the bat that are all hidden singles, but this five and this five combine to force a five in one of those two on the bottom, center, and right of column six. Uh, these two twos actually force a two right there, which force a two in one of those two. These two sevens force a seven in one of these two, but this seven in row eight rules that one out pointing to the left. That places two other sevens, which I think is all I get out of it. But I have seven digit sevens. Uh, what I'm missing are boxes two and five, and these two sevens force it in one of those two, but not here. So that's a seven, and now that's a seven, and there's all my sevens just like that. Now, I have all the odd digits in row 1. I need the even digits that are left 
this cell can't be 2 or 6, it's 4 or 8. This one can't be 4 or 6, this is 2 or 8. That's 2 or 4. And I have the first triple in this grid that I can't actually resolve now. In row 2, I have 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. I need 1, 3, 4, and 9 to place. Uh, that can't be 3, so I end up with this. So 3 being there doesn't tell me anything useful that I didn't already know. Let's see, what else can I do? Oh, these cells can't be 8, so I need to place an 8 in column 6. It has to go in one of those two. And therefore, it goes in one of those two. Two, three, six, seven. I need one, four, five, eight, nine. To fill out column six. That sees one and five. Okay, this sees five and eight. This is one or nine. This is one, five, eight, nine, but not eight. And this can't be one or eight. That's five or nine. So you've noticed I need one, five, eight, I need one, four, five, eight, nine, right? Well, I initially scanned this wrong because that could still be a four. And so can this, and in fact, so can that. If I had left the four out of here, then I would have incorrectly assumed that this was a one, five, nine pair, and then I would have had two or three digits for a four and an eight here that would not have been correct. Now, in row seven, I have two, five, six, seven, eight placed. I need one, three, four, and nine, and that cell cannot be one that's highlighted. This one I think can be anything. That's not nine, so I don't get any help. Those can be an even digit and five. These can also be an even digit and five. Now, this one sees 2, 4, 5, and 6. That is a hidden 8. So, that cell's an 8. This one is not. And now that cell's an 8. That does a lot of cleanup. Okay, I have 1, 2, 6, 7, 8. I need 3, 4, 5, and 9 to fill out column 7, and those two can't be 5. This cell cannot be 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is from 1, 3, 4, or 9, but it can't be 1 or 9. So it's 3 or 4, and the key here to notice is those ones and those ones, along with those two given ones, told me immediately and I totally missed that I had one, two, three cells with a digit one looking into box nine. That was one from the right. And the word go. Which was a bit silly of me. So what I'm doing is I'm doing green, purple, orange usually. And I go red, yellow, blue to highlight my triples, just so I can see things a little bit better. Let's see. This cell can't be 1, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is 2, 3, 4, 9. I have 3 fourths of a 2, 3, 4, 9 quadruple in column 3, but I don't have much else to go with it. Let's see, I need four cells left for box five. Am I going to get anything useful out of it? Maybe. These can't be three, so three is down to one of two spots. And they cannot be two, five, seven, or eight.
Those can't be 1, 2, 7, 8, 9. They are from 3, 4, 5, and 6, and this one can't be 4 or 6. Okay, I get nothing out of there. Those two cells to finish out row 5 cannot be 4, 5, 7, 8. And I don't get any help. These can't be 3, 4, or 7. We'll finish out the middle three rows. And I get nothing. Okay, those are going to be from 1, 4, 8, 9. And neither of these are 4, and that's not 8. So these can't be 4. One of those two must be 4 in column 5, therefore those two cells are not 4. Now, crucially, that means there's only one space left for a 4 in row 4, which is that one. Now that does a lot because 4, 3, 5 are done. These are 4, 9, which makes that 3. This is now a 4 because that one can't be 4 or 5. See, I don't have much else to clean up after this point. I've only got two cells left. This can't be two, three, four, five, seven. They are from one, six, eight, nine. Whoops. Finish out row three, and so I end up with this, which tells me nothing I don't know already. Those cannot be one. Okay, I need to place a five somewhere in one of those three cells, but I don't know where in box 7. This can't be 4. That's not 3. Now I'm, I have 8 limited to 2 spots, but I can't reduce it further in column 2. And then those two cells cannot... Oh, well, actually, the thing about was this one. It can't be... Two, four, five, seven, eight. That one can't be one, two, three, five, seven, eight. I think it's four, six, nine, and that's it. Okay, so the key here is what hidden digits do we have, and where does three go in column five? Not there because of the three in the box. Not there because of the 3 in row 4 pointing to its left, and not there because of this placed 3. So, that 3 is a hidden digit that's key to the puzzle that will place a fair amount. One nine in row 3 makes 8, 4, 9. So this is 6, that's a 1, which is going to undo the triple in box 5, which will finish box 2, and then row 3, and then row 1, and I have an error. Because this sees all the odd digits and every even digit. So I made a boo-boo somewhere when I was filling this cell out. Okay, this one could still be 1. So it's 1, 2, 6, or 9. Okay, so this is correct. Four, six, nine. there looks right. Okay, 3 makes us 5, that's 6.
Well, yeah, so that's a six. This isn't. One nine makes that one eight. That four. Ah, I think I found the error. I had originally said that this cell was forced to be a nine. It still could have been a one, but four going to here, two, eight. I still have a one nine in row four, and I still have a one nine in row two, and I've got a lot of one nines looking at each other. Let's see, those aren't five. This isn't two or six. That's not two either. But one nine means this can't be one or nine. That can't be one or nine. It is now forced to be a three. Now, this cell isn't three in column one. A three in that column one makes this a four. That is not four. So I've got a one nine pair in row three in box two. I've got a one three nine triple in row two and box one. Let's see, one nine here means this can't be nine and now can't be four because of the four in the column. So that's a five and that's a five. Oh look, one four nine that's left in column six, one six nine in column five. Okay, these can't be eight. This is not eight, and that's not eight. But eight in column three is key. It's a hidden digit. And seriously, I don't get anything else out of it? I get four in one of two places in the column. Row nine is reduced to nothing but pairs of digits. And rows four and five are an interesting triple, or four different pairs of digits, rather. Can't even. What's annoying is that I've got those offset triples. Let's see, box one has an offset triple, two has a pair on the diagonal, three is done, four has an offset triple, as does five, six is a pair, seven is an offset quadruple, eight appears to be an offset quintuple, other than one being there, we don't know anything differently. Hmm. I don't like guessing, but I think I might have to do that, because unless there's some error in my logic, the good news is I can just about pick anything. Let's argue for the sake of discussion that this cell was a 1. And see if that solves. This is a one, that's six, this is one, that's nine, this is six, that's two. The good news is if this doesn't work, there's only one other thing it can be. Two, that's a three. This is forced to be a nine, that's forced to be a four. Three, nine, and I'll say I just got lucky. This was not a pretty solve, but I got there. 
if somebody can give me insight where I got stuck after I cleared the error about here, I would appreciate it. Because I couldn't see a way out of a deadly pattern. And there was something I was missing as far as a hidden digit. That's the only explanation I have.